When did you start thinking about uh, the new F-150? We started more or less as soon as the previous car had uh, first uh, turned the wheel. So I'm talking about late January uh, of uh, last year. Um, we basically analyzed the new regulations, the new, um, which are quite significant for this year, and we put together uh, the first uh, development plan for the wind tunnel uh, to investigate the major changes of the regulations, but also the first uh, mechanical studies of a few subcomponents and subsystems of the, of the vehicle in order to try to uh, get an early start on some of these important changes. What were the main challenges of this project? Um, the 2011 year has uh, quite a few uh, new challenges that are probably more uh, above average in terms of difficulty compared to previous years. Um, if I take them in sequence, uh, the, curves, the reintroduction of the curves is a major challenge. We learned a lot from the curves uh, two years ago. So uh, the installation this year obviously builds on that knowledge but is quite different. So that is quite a major mechanical um, uh, project. Uh, and then there's the movable rear wing that is uh, new to Formula One this year. So we had to study both the mechanical system for its activation but also the aerodynamics of it uh, in order to minimize the drag on the straight but to not compromise the performer, performance in cornering. And uh, then obviously there was the new aerodynamic rules for the whole car. Um, the double diffuser has been eliminated so we had to work hard to uh, recover that performance of the missing double diffuser. And uh, then one should not forget also the new tyres. Uh, when a car has new tyres the characteristics of those tyres change quite a lot and therefore we need to um, do a lot of simulations and a lot of initial studies to see how those tyres affect the suspension design and also the aerodynamic characteristics of the car. And what are the most uh, innovative characteristics? Um, as we see the car uh, in today's launch, um, there's already quite, uh, quite a few innovations. I won't get into all of them. Um, for example, I would mention the uh, rear suspension as one of them and the um, system for the rear wing adjustment as another. But uh, there's quite a few other things under the skin which I would prefer not to get into more detail. For the first race, um, we should uh, also note that there's going to be a lot more changes to the car uh, in terms of its aerodynamic configuration. So uh, for the first race I would expect uh, significant changes in the exhaust area and also in the rear wing area. As a chief designer, would you like to have more freedom? It, it would be nice to have um, uh, much more freedom in the rules to be able to um, exploit and to study um, technological solutions in much wider breadth. Um, there's a good reason, of course, there's rules. If rules did not exist, the performance of the cars would be absolutely unmanageable and I think also the cost of Formula One would be uh, even higher than what it is now. So uh, there's very good reason for which there are restrictions, but nonetheless uh, it would be a nice dream to have um, uh, fewer restrictions. The other thing obviously would be to have more time to do all the work between one season and the other the rhythms are quite uh, hard and there's very little time to study various things as much as one would like. Did you reach the target uh, you had fixed in this project? Uh, we, last year we clearly were not the best car and we set ourselves um, quite, what we feel is quite an ambitious target of performance both in terms of aerodynamics but also in terms of the mechanical char characteristics of some other aspects of the car. We feel we are, have been quite good at achieving those targets, so we are quite optimistic about this car and how it will go in the season. That said, uh, these rules are quite different to uh, the previous year, so there's a fairly big change of characteristics of the car, and I'm sure our opponents will also have set themselves quite uh, ambitious targets. 
and uh, until one sees the cars lined up on the grid uh, for the first race, one will not really know whether one has achieved the target because the target is, uh, is really to be ahead. On a more personal side, do you feel obliged to win this year? Um, I think that's, um, being Ferrari, that's an obligation we have every year. We should not underestimate our opponents who are extremely strong and very capable. But the, um, the name and the, and the recent history is such that uh, we feel this obligation every year, and this year is no exception.